What's up everybody and welcome back to some more Mass Effect. I know it's been like three weeks since I last played, but oh we're back and it is gonna be glorious. Ah yes. So we got we got Garrus, we got Rex, we got the boys. I, I totally forgot what we're supposed to be doing. Uh expose Saren. Return at the tower. You should be there when the ambassador presents the court as evidence to the Citadel's council. Oh. So I need to go back to the council. Which I believe. Alright. Dang it. F is the heel key. I meant to hit E. Sure. Commander Shepard. My name is Samesh Pati. <laughs> Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. I'm listening. What do you need? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Did they say why? Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. We'll look into it. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral. And the respect she deserves. Alright. Let's go see what's up. Uh, personally, I think they should keep the body. If one person could save hundreds. You know, sacrifice of one, save many. That kind of philosophy. Might be inhumane, you know, but... Eh. Who cares? My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. Your activities made for quite a briefing in the diplomatic corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? I'm here on behalf of Samesh Bhatia for his wife, Nirali. <laughs> Rex in the background. Serviceman Nirali Bhatia died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Bhatia no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. You're studying her injuries to learn more about Geth weaponry. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, Serviceman Bhatia may save more lives in death than she did in life. You know who and what I am. If I want Nirali Bacha, I can get her. Commander, I, I don't think threats are necessary. Even if the body were here on the Citadel, would you really risk going in shooting to get it? The Marine's name was Nirali Bacha. If you want to cut her up, you call her by name. All right, Commander. You win. It was hard enough refusing Mr. Bhatia. I'm not going to risk an incident by refusing you. Tell Samesh that the body is being shipped back to Earth. Sounds I'll go good. now to see to it myself. <clears throat> Switching up a little bit. Doing a little renegade. Which, uh... This is actually the second time I've done this because the cord recording got messed up. And the first time I did Paragon, so... Well... Tranquil. Relaxing. Hello again, Commander. Has there been any word? Your wife is coming home, Mr. Batya. Thank you. I will return home and begin my preparations. It does not bring me happiness, but it may bring me peace. Goodbye, Commander. Goodbye. I could totally do voice work. Ecstatic. Let's head for the Citadel. Actually, no, we're on the Citadel. I'm at the tower. Uh, oh, the Citadel Tower. Okay. That was close enough. That's still a Citadel. You have arrived. Oh, really? Because when I clicked the button, that said... Nevolus won't be joining the Council for years. I'm not so sure. The humans are making a strong push. And you can bet the Volus will be right on their coast. Yeah. Hello. Hi. Wow, it actually lets me shoot him. <laughs> this isn't like do the thing where it uh p points your gun up or anything. Am I going the right way? I think I'm supposed to be going this way. Oops, I was used to walking straight. This place is pretty cool. It's really tall. Why is it that large of a ceiling? For real. You know how much oxygen that's wasting? In space. I mean, come on. At least put some floors up there. You know, make it like a a VIP lounge. Come on. 
Udin is presenting the Quarian's evidence to the Council. <sighs> Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status, and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Venezia. She must be working with the Geth, too. Matriarch Venezia is a powerful biotic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was expected from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the Conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this Conduit is? Saren thinks he can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. 50,000 years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the Conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! A fleet cannot track down one man. A Citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. I can take Saren down. The Commander's right. There is a way to stop Saren that doesn't require fleets or armies. No, it's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. I faced Saren on Eden Prime and exposed him for a traitor. I've proven myself. Commander Shepard, step forward. It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. I'm honored, Counselor. We're sending you into the Traverse after Saren. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. Any idea where to find him? We will forward any relevant files to Ambassador Udina. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer.
Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. <clears throat> Bastard didn't even thank you. What do you expect from a politician? Come on, right behind you, Shepard. Spectre bonus. Spectre training, charm, and intimidate. Nice. Ah, so yeah, that was a, a long pause. Um, that's, if you've seen my uh, earlier videos, you know that it's basically like my policy. I don't talk during any cutscenes because I don't like it when people talk during cutscenes. So, yep. It's, I need to go down to C sec. All right, there it is. I don't think I have any money though. Where do I check money? J? No. I. Armor plating, improved sighting, shield generator, and heat sink. Okay. Oh, yep. Gotta do some some old maintenance on the guns. Let's put. Mm, let's put the actually on that. Put the heat sink on the sniper rifle. Yeah, that'll be really good. Uh, what do we have? 126 damage, for horrible accuracy. More damage. Oh, that pistol is just better. The edge. Okay, equip the edge. Yes. Nice. Very cool. Mm. What about Rex? I don't really don't change anything on him. Or give him anything. Yeah. Nah, they're fine. Alright, so it's twenty-two hundred dollars. Uh, where would the Spectre requisitions? Th I think it's this way. Maybe down here. All oh, right, because there's a. Oh, I'm just now like seeing the mini map. Bottom right. Hmm. One sec, looking you up. <sighs> Commander Shepard here with the Alliance military. First time on the Citadel, that about right? How do you know who I am? I'm the CSEC Requisitions Officer. I need to make sure our buyers are authorized. So, will you be purchasing anything today, Commander Shepard? Show me what you've got. Sounds good. Just let me set you up. Oh, this must be a mistake. System's telling me to offer you our select stock. Spectre? Well, I heard about that, but I didn't realize it was you. Sorry, Commander. Just show me what you've got. I'll open the rare stocks for you, Commander. Enjoy. Nice. Whoa! 36,000. That's uh, a little expensive for me. Let's go, let's go all the way down. Uh, an Aldrin Labs license? I don't even know what that does. A license? Well, I'll buy it, whatever. It's 96 dollars. Yeah, and then none of the stuff. At least I can sell them some stuff. Twelve dollars. Yeah, why not? I'm actually gonna put these armor upgrades on. Wow, it's thirteen sixty. Oh, look at that. Let's look at this sniper rifle. Yeah, why is it so much? Uh, more a lot more damage, but the accuracy is super down. Yeah, alright. Uh, what do I have on this? 1.5 health per second, 18% shield recovery, 7% damage protection. Hmm. Health regen. I like the health regen. I think I'm going to keep the health regen. Because it's super useful. Because the shield just recovers. Hello, all right. Commander. I think I'll be going. Sure thing, Commander. You have a good day now. No, I want it. No, show me the show me the Hello, stock. Commander. Yeah. Show me what you've got. Show me what we got. I'll open the rare stocks for you, Commander. Enjoy. Let me sell the sniper rifle. Cause I won't be using it. Uh, sell that. Sell that. We might keep the shield generator. And wait, what's that? Am I able to buy something now? Three K. Show me what you've got. I'll open the rare <laughs> Once again, go back. I play so. This is how I always play. It's like so weird. 
Okay. Um, Alternate Labs is a human manufacturer based on the loot economy, providing basic reliable equipment at an affordable cost. On the tools and bio amps. Oh. Is that what the license does? It allows me to buy stuff from them? Hmm. Okay. And this. Uh, a blue wire tool. I can't even remember what I am. I can't, what class did I choose to go? I can't remember. I think I'm like a weapon. I'm like a engineer and weapons or something like that. I can't remember. Alright, what am I supposed to do now? Uh, speak to the ambassador. Alright. Gotta go back to the ambassador's office. Presidium. Uh, embassies. Check. Oh, gotta go on this super long walk again. This jog. Left <clears throat> the offices, to the right. My screen is like tearing super bad for some reason on Mass Effect. It's like no other games, but with Mass Effect. I don't know. Hopefully that doesn't show up on the uh, recording. Oh, where's the ambassador? This is his offices. Where's the ambassador at? Oh. He was in CSEC? Dang it. I'm an idiot. Well, gotta run all the way back. If I can walk down the stairs. Apparently I can't. Da 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 some nice plants behind the railings. So this would be awesome. This is why I think we, you know, we should fund space travel. Come on. There's so much out there. And I would totally live, like, on the sit down. Totally. It'd be awesome. Be out in space. I mean, look at that. Ah, it's the dream. If you were, like, super rich, because basically it's the only people that can afford it. Or if you work for it. Okay. Welcome to CSEC. This got to be the dock, right? Yeah. <laughs> the elevator scene. I love it how they don't do like loading scenes, but they have elevator scenes. So In other just... news, Exogenic Corp is still denying reports that one of their <sighs> teams has gone missing in the Hades Gamma. Hades cluster. Gamma. When asked Most why perfect. communication with the survey team was suddenly cut off last week, look at company Rex. officials refused to comment. Was, was, like, look how look at his giant thighs. <laughs> and then Garrus. What that look at that thigh yap on Garrus. I mean whoo. That is incredible. Okay, um... <laughs> Rex, like, the tiny guns on his back. Uh, it's the best. <laughs> and he has the best running animation. Ah, uh, that's why I love Rex. Rex is always in my party. Alright. Where am I supposed to be going anyway? <laughs> oh, did I just go the wrong way? Uh, missions. Accessible through the central elevator in the CSEC Academy. Oh, I think I went through the central elevator. Did I? Go down to CSEC. Yeah, I think I might be going the wrong way. Yep. I went the wrong way again. This happens all the time. This happens way more than I like to admit. So, we gotta take the elevator ride again, yay! Oh, hey, we get, we get to see this again. That is an awesome, like, eyepiece, whatever that he has. It's like a Attached the to the back of his head. Team has run into an unexpected problem after unearthing <coughs> a Prothean dig site. Hanar protesters Prothean. have blockaded the dig site, claiming that artifacts of the Enkindlers, as the Hanar hmm. call them, should not be disturbed. The excavation oh, yeah, the team has appealed that's, to that's Hanar the representatives on the Citadel to reach a diplomatic solution. Happy. And they have to say their emotions. That'd be pretty cool. 
That would that would be awesome if people had to like say their emotions before they say it's, say stuff. <coughs> Angry, and you'd know to just walk away right then. Right. Disappointed. I mean, it it saves so much time, wouldn't it? It would save so much time. Okay, well, back to the central elevator. See, this this is where we were supposed to be going. Any trip there? It <laughs> trip there, Rex. That's weird. I'm I call Rex by his last name and Garrus by his first name. Aren't the Krogan just a few generations away from extinction? You don't get it. For all ah. your talk of honor and pride, the Turians never had to test their <laughs> principles in a real struggle. Anyone who fights us is either stupid or on Saren's payroll. <laughs> Killing the latter is business. Killing the former is a favor to the universe. <laughs> That's why I love Rex. Rex is the best companion in Mass Effect. Hands down, best companion. Alright, here we go. Finally, wow, that is a huge, huge dock bay. Look, look at this thing. Oh, and then there's my ship. I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. The ship is yours now. The ship's mine? Oh. She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Treat her well, Commander. I'll take good care of her, sir. I know you will, Commander. I want the truth. Why are you stepping down, sir? You needed your own ship. A Spectre can't answer to anyone but the Council. And it's time for me to step down. Come clean with me, Captain. You owe me that much. I was in your shoes 20 years ago, Shepard. They were considering me for the Spectres. What happened? I failed. I couldn't make the cut. It's not something I'm proud of. Ask me later and I'll tell you the whole story. For now, all you need to know is, I was sent on a mission with Saren, and he made sure the Council rejected me. I had my shot. It came and went. Now you have a chance to make up for my mistakes. I won't let you down, sir. Saren's gone. Don't even try to find him. But we know what he's after. The conduit. He's got his Geth scouring the Traverse looking for clues. We had reports of Geth in the Pharaoh system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact. And there have been sightings around Noveria. Find out what Saren was after on Pharos and Noveria. Maybe you can figure out where the conduit is before he does. Anything else? We have one more lead. Matriarch Benezia, the other voice in that recording? She has a daughter, a scientist who specializes in the Protheans. We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her. See what she knows. Her name's Liara, Dr. Liara Tassoni. We have reports she was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau Cluster. Sounds like we should head for the Artemis Tau Cluster. It's your decision, Commander. You're a Spectre now. You don't answer to us. Your actions still reflect on humanity as a whole. You make a mess and I get stuck cleaning it up. I'll take care of Saren. You take care of the political fallout. Not exactly the answer I was looking for, Shepard. Remember, you were a human long before you were a Spectre. I have a meeting to get to. Captain Anderson can answer any questions you might have. Uh, yes, do I have Commander. questions? Not really. Go. I'll be here if you need anything. See, ya, Anderson. Well, we can talk later. But in the meantime, let's go look at our ship. Yeah, Normandy SR1. Stand by ah. to our party. Decontamination ah. in. Ah. Look what happened to Captain Anderson. He survives a hundred battles and then gets taken down by backroom politics. Just watch your back, Commander. If things go bad on this mission, you're next on their chopping block. Saren's out there somewhere, and we're gonna find him. Everyone on this ship's behind you, Commander, 100%. Intercom's open. You got anything you want to say to the crew? Now's the time. This is Commander Shepard speaking. We have our orders. Find Saren before he finds the conduit. I won't lie to you, crew. This mission isn't going to be easy. This began with an attack on a human settlement in the Traverse. But we know Saren won't stop there. His Geth armies aren't going to stay on the far fringes of Citadel space. 
This is the most important mission any of us have ever been on. The fate of an entire galaxy is at stake. We will stop Sarah, no matter what the cost. Well said, Commander. The Captain will be proud. The Captain gave up everything so I could have this chance. We can't fail. Yes, sir. 